July 26th, The Way to Purity Those things which proceed out of the mouth come from the heart, for out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witnesses, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. Matthew 15, verses 18 through 20. Initially, we trust in our ignorance, calling it innocence, and next we trust our innocence, calling it purity. But when we hear these strong statements from our Lord, we shrink back, saying, But I never felt any of these awful things in my heart. We resent what He reveals. Either Jesus Christ is the supreme authority on the human heart, or He is not worth paying any attention to. Am I prepared to trust the penetration of His word into my heart, or would I prefer to trust my own innocent ignorance? If I will take a look, an honest look at myself, becoming fully aware of my so-called innocence and putting it to the test, I am very likely to have a rude awakening that what Jesus Christ said is true, and I will be appalled at the possibilities of the evil and wrong within me. But as long as I remain under the false security of my own innocence, I am living in a fool's paradise. If I have never been an openly rude and abusive person, the only reason is my own cowardice coupled with the sense of protection I receive from living a civilized life. But when I am open and completely exposed before God, I find that Jesus Christ is right in his diagnosis of me. The only thing that truly provides protection is the redemption of Jesus Christ. If I will simply hand myself over to him, I will never have to experience the terrible possibilities that lie within my heart. Purity is something far too deep for me to arrive at naturally. But when the Holy Spirit comes into me, he brings into the center of my personal life the very spirit that was exhibited in the life of Jesus Christ, namely the Holy Spirit, which is absolute unblemished purity.